Hi, today's flip grid question is about STLC. So I will try to explain the STLC in details. STLC stands for Software Development Lifecycle, and we can say that it's a kind, uh, it's a kind of framework or a methodology to achieve a bug-free application with a high-quality software. STLC has six steps, including and starting from requirement gathering, designing, coding, testing, releasing, and finally maintaining, respectively. Let's start with the first step of SDLC, which is the requirement gathering phase. Requirement gathering phase is a kind of process about understanding the client's expectations and requirements. So a business team consisting of a product manager, product owner, and business, anal business analysts get together with the client and stakeholders in order to understand the client's requirements and to collect them in a document. So a product owner especially gathers the requirements from the client and then product owner, PO I mean, with the business team members, BA and uh, PM, together, all together, analyze the requirements and make a well-organized plan. After that, they write a document called as SRS and SRS stands for Software Requirement Specification. After the first step, let's come to the second phase of SDLC, which is designing phase. The goal of designing phase is, design, is that designers should prepare the prototype and blueprint of the software. So designers design the application and design the prototype and model of the application according to the SRS document, which was produced and written in the first phase of STLC, I mean, which is a requirement gathering phase. Finally, designers create a design document called as STS, and STS, as we know, stands for Software Design Specification. After the second step, let's come to the third step of STLC, which is the coding or development phase. At this stage, the actual development starts to be written, I mean coding. So developers create the initial version of the application in the div environment. Actually, this phase is the longest phase of SDLC. And then the testing uh, is the fourth step of SDLC. Testing the software is very important in terms of having a bug-free application. Because of this reason, our purpose here is, I mean in testing phase, to check if the expected result of the client and the actual result by the developers created match with each other or not. So testing phase focuses on providing a bug-free and high-quality application. It's very important. So what is done in this step? QAs, estates and performance testers test both the functionalities and non-functionalities of the software. And finally, test reports are documented and sent back to the developers to be fixed. Let's come to the fifth step of STLC, which is the release phase. In here, end users use the application in the production environment. Uh, the focal point here in, in this step is that target audience, I mean end users, are able to use the application with a high quality and satisfactory performance. After the releasing, uh, the final step of the STLC, which is maintenance uh, phase, comes. The purpose of uh, maintenance maintaining is to provide support, but continuously support to the, uh, to the application so that end users can utilize a more stable, high qualified and uh, bug free application. So any bugs found from the current production are just fixed and we call this hotfix. So we can say that maintaining phase is a continuous and ongoing activity. If the client, but on the other hand, if the client provides new requirements, feedback, or let's say new features in order to improve the current software, then a new STLC, I mean software development lifecycle is launched for that again. So this is why software development is really a lifecycle. Thank you for listening.